violence in Perry. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Janae Town. The company is closing the plants at the end of June, leaving 1300 people without a job. So to help them get back on their feet, the city is holding a big job fair to bring open opportunities straight to the workers. WHO 13's Roger Riley was there to check it out. Hi, Roger. Yeah, hello, Janae. This is the second job fair uh, for displaced workers. This one much larger than the last one. It had some 65 employers were on hand today. We need welders and fabricators. We need machinists. Um, we need people that want to work with heavy steel construction. That's really what we're doing is basic steel construction. Um, I have an opening for an engineering position if you have a mechanical background. Now, interest in this fair ballooned 190 employers. They had to pair it back to firms who were close by, had a decent wage and benefits, and also are willing to train and be open to workers who do not speak English. The language aspect of this was discovered by Iowa Workforce when they opened a mobile center at the Perry plant. Um, when I was out at Tyson, um, they're helping with that worker information meeting and they're on site. Uh, majority of people are not English speaking. Um, I was surprised a lot aren't even Spanish speaking. There was a lot of individuals who spoke French, spoke Tigrinya, spoke Swahili, uh, about 13 different languages or so out there that are spoken.